It's an opportunity coming up this week to help end homelessness in the Twin Cities. Emma Norton is hosting its annual Opening Doors Gala in person for the first time in three years. It'll happen this Thursday. So joining us live this morning to tell us all about it, Shauna Nelson-Wills, Emma Norton's Advancement Director. Shauna, thanks for being with us today. Yes, good morning. Thanks for having me on. Why don't we start out with, tell us a little bit about Emma Norton. Sure, Emma Norton, we've actually been around for over 100 years. Um, we uh, provide transformational housing for women, uh, families, and individuals to help them um, break the cycle of homelessness and really recover through housing and supportive services. Shauna, what are you seeing out there when it comes to homelessness? You know, I, I mean, the pandemic has taken a toll on all of us, but especially on our vulnerable families and um, low-income residents. And so, you know, we have as part of the gala three different stories of a family and individual and a, almost a senior citizen who um, all have been, you know, greatly impacted by either lost jobs or just not having a safe place to be during the pandemic. So, you know, I'm an orn, we really try to step in and, um, you know, help provide that opportunity, that stability to be able to change that path for them going forward. <laughs> And Shauna, last time we saw you here, 2019, you came in to talk about the gala, which was in person at the time. Then, mm -hmm. of course, <laughs> not in person. Uh, right. You know, I, you're going to be back uh, uh, in person here. I, what does that mean? Because I, it's been hard over the past couple of years. Yeah, it means so much. You know, I think some of the donors and uh, partners that are going to be there tonight, we haven't really seen in person in over two years. And so it's going to be really wonderful to just have our community back together. Um, it is a hybrid gala, so people that aren't quite ready to come back, um, get out of their sweatpants yet, <laughs> um, and be together can also join us through, via live stream. But it's just going to be wonderful to have that energy again in the room to really be together in community and celebrate really what our residents have gone through and the strength and resilience that they've shown, uh, you know, on the path to their recovery. So it's going to be wonderful. What uh, What are you targeting your fundraising towards for this year's gala? So we have, an, uh, you know, kind of our goal is to raise uh, $100,000 um, this year, and all of that money goes directly to serving our residents through our programs. So the unique thing about Emma Norton is that we are permanent supportive housing. That doesn't mean everyone lives there permanently. It just means there's not an artificial clock. So however long they need to really get stable and be ready for independent living, um, they can take as long as they need. I mean, and the, the great thing about Emma Norton, too, is that all of the different services you provide to be able to make that housing available mm -hmm. and make it stable as, uh, for people with children, for families with children there, uh, mm -hmm. you know, just get all of this stuff, because all, it's all of that that can make it work. Absolutely, and that, you know, the stories, that news stories that happened just before with the kids and carjackings, and, you know, we're really trying to kind of have that multi-generation approach where we're really helping stabilize the families and the parents, but then providing you know additional services to the kids and the youth so that we can really break that cycle for them and you know give them a, a bright future is what we're really looking for for all of our families and our individuals. All right. Shauna, thank you for being with us today. Emma Norton, a wonderful organization and good luck on Thursday. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. All right. Take care. We hope you raise all the money. The opening doors gala is this Thursday at 5. It's at the Intercontinental St. Paul Riverfront Hotel. You can go to WCCO.com slash links. As Shauna said, you can take part remotely or you can donate online.